What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and welcome back to the second episode of our Spintar's Mudrunner Hardcore Let's Play. So we just finished unlocking all of the watch points and now we're going to go ahead and switch to one of our logging trucks because this area really only has one uh, lumber mill. So what I'm thinking about doing is... Unlocking the K700 first. So driving down there, unlocking the K700. But we can do that with our... Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> our B131. Or we could do it with the uh, with the other truck. With the, I believe it's a C-Class truck or something. So I don't know if that... Uh, if that... Let's see. Which one is it? The K700. I don't know if it needs repairs. So what I'm going to do is let's see where's my utility uh attachment okay so i'm gonna drive down there with a utility attachment and see if that truck uh or that k700 needs repairs now because if it does we'll have the uh we'll have the capability to deal with that so setting off now i'm thinking uh oh no that's not what i wanted that's not what i wanted either there we go, it's left bumper. I keep forgetting what it is to turn the headlights on. It's weird, but, and also, another kind of funny thing about this map, I've, like, never turned right here. I always go left. I've, like, on the casual playthrough, you don't really ever need to do anything other than go left. So, I never turned right. And turning right was one of those things that's like, uh, I've never seen this part of the map before. So, you kind of got to think, hardcore mode forces you to explore areas of the map that you may not have seen before. But I do want to get this truck unlocked, because I do, I want to get it unlocked, and I want to get it, you know, repaired if it needs it. Um, oh, well, you know what I did forget, though? If it needs fuel. Because it might need fuel, it might be fine on repairs, it just might, you know, not have any fuel. So, uh, that may be a little, uh, a little weird. Let me get out of first person view real quick. Pull your way up. There we go. Release. Oh, come on. Oh, God. If you could just stay. I was like, if you could just stay on the road, man. If you could just stay on the road and not, like, be going all over the freaking place, I think we'll be all good. We'll be all good to go. All right, where's my K700? It should be close by, but there's a D535, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is, actually. To be brutally honest, I'm not sure what that is. C4320, I believe that's one of the 8x8s. Hmm. You know, to be honest, I kind of want to just get in the other truck now and you know, do the full crane setup and get it ready as well. Um, yeah, log crane carriage. And, and, let's see, can we do a... Can we do a little trailer? No. Okay, fine. Uh, log carriage, log carrier, log crane carriage. That's three point loads. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll do that, because we've never used that setup before. I mean, we've used the, um... We've used the crane before, obviously, but I haven't used this exact setup in terms of, like, you know, a short logs carriage with a crane on the back. Whereas the other one can use a crane with medium logs. So, if we do these together, we will still, well... Three points, and then the other one would be a four-point load. That would still only be seven points. So wait, that would only be seven points. So really and truly, the B-131 should be going up there first. Yeah, it should be going up there first, because if it goes up there first, then it will have a much easier time. We'll only need to do two loads. Okay, so that makes sense now. That makes a lot more sense now. But, but... I still feel like we should keep um, moving towards unlocking the other truck, or the other, um, the tractor, the K700. 
God, do you really have to think in hardcore mode? I mean, they, they don't let you not think. That's the thing, is they don't let you not think all the time. You have to be thinking all the time, constantly, 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 constantly. Because um, if you don't, it's it's like... It's like, well, sorry, you didn't think about that. You know what I mean? It's like, if you, sorry, you didn't think about that, and uh, that's that. So, you're done now. Your truck is wrecked, and you're done now. So, it's like, man, if your brain's not running, and it's not working, don't play hardcore mode. K700 should be super useful, though. Like, in terms of, if, you know what, actually, actually... We should just get a long log trailer for the other truck. This makes even more sense. Get a long log trailer for the other truck, run it up there, get a short log, tr uh, log attachment for this, run it up there, load the long log trailer, load this, then drive each one to the objective, boom, done, map over with. And then that way, I mean, it'll take a little bit longer because we'll have to drive the K700 up there, but it'll be a worthwhile trade-off because it'll only be two loads instead of one. So, yeah, that makes the most sense, I think. Alright, that thing's ready to go. Grab the K700. Where are we on fuel? Like, half. Okay. Well, this thing is badass from the inside. Like, driving this on the interior view, that's legit. Okay, so... We just take this road, cross the river, up to the fuel station, get some fuel... Kind of gets a little desolate in here. You wind your way through the woods, and then you get up to the logs kiosk. Okay, so, objective for this episode. Get the K700 to the logs kiosk safely. That is the, that is kind of the ultimate objective here, is get this to the logs kiosk safely, um, so it can be used to load the trucks up, and, you know, and so you don't have to, don't have to concern yourself with any of the other issues, um, that might result from from whatever, uh, what, whatever would come from using, you know, like, the trucks to load the, uh, load the vehicle, or load the, themselves. And with this, you, you can take fewer, fewer loads of lumber, because you can do bigger loads. Love watching this thing, too, like, you know, articulate in the middle. Oh, it, dude, it, I was a little concerned, like, because I had never been across this river before. And I was a little concerned it was going to have trouble, but th that's not even to be heard of here. This thing is a monster when it comes to crossing the river. Or, well, crossing that river, anyway. Doesn't even It didn't even say, like, anywhere close to dangerous water level, so... I, I have no concerns about this guy. Alright, uh, we're going to want to go left, because that leads straight to the fuel station, directly there. So we won't have to be... Whoa, hey! C-375. Oh, and that's got a short, um, short log, uh, cart, basically. So that will be of help. Or at least it'll be of help if we need it. I'm super curious, too, as, what, as to what's coming next, because, like, all of these, you know, these hardcore mode playthroughs... There's so much more to them. There's so much more to them, and you have to explore all these different areas. And man, that you realize actually how much detail went into the game, because really when you play on casual, you only play like a quarter of the map. That's all a swamp. I'm going to go around it. At least I think I'm going to go around it. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I should probably go around it. Oh, this thing, I love it, because his uh, diff lock is always on. So you never even have to concern yourself with it. Even in hardcore mode, you can use it in automatic. So you could use... This is one of the few vehicles where you can use the diff lock in automatic mode. Because it's always on. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, uh... So remember how I was like, yeah, I'll just go around the, uh... I'll just go around the swamp. Yeah, I, uh... I didn't realize that it was all swamp. Oh, God. There we go. It's going to fall over in a second, but it gave us the... It gave us the little bit of a push we needed. Oh, crap. Are we actually stuck, or are we stuck on, like, a sapling or something? 
I feel like we're probably stuck on a sapling or a small tree. Yeah, we were... Oh, no, we were stuck on a log. Alright, we're gonna go around it. Dude, I swear, if this thing can be stopped by a tiny little tree, uh, it doesn't need to be... It doesn't me need to be out here in the middle of the woods. That's not what I wanted. There. There. That's what I wanted, because that is not gonna move. Yeah, that is not gonna move. I mean, it'll move a little bit, but at least it's not gonna break and then send us backwards. God, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Come on! Jeez, man. Okay, well... Try a different... No, not that. Because that's gonna come out of the ground. I just don't understand what we're stuck on. Is it a log? A small tree? Like, what? What is it? Because we can back up, no problem. Or, well, I thought we could back up, no pro- Oh! Why the heck were our, was our all-wheel drive not on? That doesn't make any sense. No, not that. Why did you default to that? That was the worst thing to default to. There we go. Okay, well, at this point, I'm I'm a lot more inclined to stay on the road, I think. Because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go around the, you know, the mucky road and um and like avoid having to go through mud. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Very, very, very wrong, actually. Would it help if we raised that loader up a little bit? Probably. All right, now that it's up, I'm going to just kind of leave it. I'm going to leave it up so it's not dragging or catching on anything. That'll probably actually play out a lot better for us, too. And the sun is starting to come up, which is not like a godsend for us because I was, I was kind of done playing at night. Uh-oh. Our fuel's getting low. We should have just enough to get to the, um... We should have just enough to get to the to the uh, to the fuel station, especially if I get crafty with the winch. So if I get crafty with the winch, see, look, zero liters a minute, zero liters a minute. You can use this as a little trick to let yourself just be pulled down the road. God, it's becoming a Prius, or at least a log skidding Prius. Pull, 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 pull. There we go. God, that ever so slight whistle is like, it's like, dude. Oh, yes. Still zero liters a minute. God, this, I almost feel like this is a hack. It feels like a hack. All right, now we should have enough fuel to just drive there. God, it's fast when it gets out of first gear. Damn. It's got a lot of, like, a lot of go to it. Alright, so. We had enough to get here, so we'll f get it all fueled up. And then now we just have to get it up to the logs kiosk itself. Which is not that far away. Yeah, we're about halfway up, and we've got, like, halfway, you know, the rest of the way to go. Okay, so we gotta go through here... And this is where it starts to get a little trailblazy, because if you look on the map, there aren't really that many marked trails back here. So it's got to get a little trailblazy at this point. But I'm totally okay with it becoming like that, because I love doing that kind of stuff. But I can see how it might be a little bit sketchy to people that are like, you know, playing the game for the first time. They're like, uh, where do I go? You know what I mean? Like... Wait, like, where am I Where am I meant to go? Where am I supposed to drive? Because not all of these trails are marked. And that's the other thing about hardcore mode is when you have to take all these different routes, you end up realizing that some of the routes are not really marked. They're, 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 they're just not. They're just not. And uh, you have to deal with that in your, you know, in, in, in your own way, pretty much. And really, you have to figure out if you're okay with taking the massively long way around or... If you're okay with kind of blazing your blazing a little bit of a trail through the woods. Third gear. Oh my god. 
the heck? Well, I'm glad this thing's got strong metal bumpers. Because, damn. That was like... That, that was a straight-up impact with a tree. Like, straight on the corner of the bumper and everything. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. These little mini bridges here. Got some damage, but I'm not worried about it. I, I'm, I'm genuinely not worried about it. As long as it's not too much. Like, if, only, if it's only a little bit of damage, it's not even going to bother me. Like, even on, on hardcore mode, it, it, it's not going to bother me at all. Alright, how are we looking? We can go... Actually... Well, I think going to the right might be the solution here. Yeah, this thing drives right over these freaking, like, small fir trees and stuff. They don't even, they don't even stand a chance of, sta like, they don't even have a chance of standing up to it at all. Little, like, mini, like, gully area almost. Should be closing in now. Should be very close to closing in now. Where am I at? Okay, we're, we're like right there. We just gotta keep going around this stretch, then make a left, and we'll be there. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. That tree didn't fully render, and I was like, is that tree dead? Or is it just not rendered? Or rather, when it does render, is it gonna be alive? Oh, I see where this is trying to take me. Okay, just the route to get around is a little bit longer than I thought it was. That's no big deal. I was like, but I was looking at the map. I was like, where is this trying to take me? And then I was like, oh, I'm zoomed in a little bit further than I probably should be. Rocky terrain to deal with. Not a problem for this massive K700, like, skitter tractor, though. Forestry tractor, I think, is the proper term. Alright, there's our logs kiosk. There's another truck there as well, which is perfect, because that may actually save us a ton of time. It's another, it's a C4320 uh, with a lumber attachment, which is a beautiful sight, because that means we can just load it up straight away. Come on, let's get back the other way. Here we go. I feel like one of these things would be so much fun to just move around, like, in real life, at least once, to drive. I'd love to drive one of these, like, like at least once, just to see what they're like. Alright, so there's our logs kiosk. So, we gotta, we gotta spawn the logs there, and then load them into the trucks. And that will be our first task of the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed this video in Spin Tires Mud Runner, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And also, let me know if you're enjoying my hardcore mode Let's Play. Um, it's definitely a little bit different for me, and it's something I'm having to get used to. So, uh, again, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.